my tribe is Ojibwa and Cherokee. Ojibwa on my father's and Cherokee on my mother's. The good Lord allowed me to still be here from smoking cigarettes as much as I did. I uh, smoked uh, four packs a day when I quit. After I quit smoking cigarettes, I went to chewing tobacco, and I chewed tobacco for, oh, probably about four or five years after that. It was easier to do, and it was uh, easier for me to chew and cheaper, and it gave me that nicotine high that I got from the cigarettes. But I got to uh, to a point where even though I chewed tobacco, I still wanted to smoke. And every morning I'd get up, I would cough and pack so bad, and it wouldn't nothing that I'd have to have a cigarette to stop it. But finally, I come to a point to where. If I take a cigarette and look at it and say, do I really need this today? If I just looked at it and say, do I really need this now? And then I could put it back in my pack and say, no, I don't. And then when I'd be walking around again and I'd pull one out and not think about it, because you don't, you don't think about it. You just pull a cigarette out and pop it in and light it. But when you stop and pull it out and think about every one that you pull out and say, do I really need this now? You can put it back in the pack. And the same thing with the chewing. I was able to quit smoking that way. And when I get the whole can out and get ready to pop some chew, I would think the same thing. Do I really need this now? And no, I don't. I can go without it. Finally, I weaned and, uh, myself off of it without any drugs, without any help other than the creators to help me get off of this. And I had to think about it. I had to want to do it. But I never, ever got rid of the crave. I still have the crave now. Sometimes I'll be out and see somebody light up. But I can actually not light up because I know I don't have to have it now.